Without extensive narrative manipulation, none of this would be consented to. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that bombing Gaza into rubble is a reasonable response to a single Hamas attack. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that killing tens of thousands of Palestinians and starving hundreds of thousands of more is a reasonable response to a thousand Israelis being killed. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that criticizing the actions of the State of Israel is anti-Semitic. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that saying from the river to the sea is a call for genocide. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone to think about this onslaught and the discourse around it in terms of Jews versus Jew haters. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that it was fine and normal to keep an unwanted ethnic group in a walled-in area whose resources are tightly controlled by those in power. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that TikTok is a massive problem that needs to be eliminated. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that Israel should be able to inflict violence and abuse upon the Palestinian population for generations without ever receiving any violence in return. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that Israel using the Israeli army to murder civilians in an Israeli military campaign is something that can be blamed on Hamas. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that it is fine and acceptable for the IDF to be targeting healthcare workers, journalists, and scholars, and destroying hospitals, universities, and mosques. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that dozens of Israeli hostages are more important than the hundreds of thousands of Palestinians who are being starved and murdered. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that the U.S. war machine should be bombing people in Yemen, Iraq, and Syria to stop their retaliations for the destruction of Gaza. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that the governments who are backing a genocide are not personally responsible for it. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that the unfathomable suffering that is taking place in Gaza right now should not be at the forefront of our attention. Without extensive narrative manipulation, it would never occur to anyone that the genocide in Gaza should be allowed to continue instead of being brought to an immediate end. And that's why we've been seeing such extensive narrative manipulation from our news media, from our government officials, and from Israel apologists on social media. It's because without extensive narrative manipulation, none of this would be consented to.